Canadian company that produces some very popular children's shows could be changing hands. Indeed. So um, hopefully there's not going to be any changes of some of kids' favorite shows out there, but it does look like it could change hands, of course, pending regulator approval. So Nine Story Media Group, which is based in Toronto, it mainly an animation studio, develops lots of kids' shows, including Octonauts, Daniel Tiger's Neighborhood, Wild Kratz, and of course Arthur, and many others, by the way, could be acquired. The two sides have agreed with the other side to acquire it being Scholastic Corporation. It might be a familiar name based in New York. It's agreed to purchase Nine Story Media for $250 million Canadian. Of course, that deal again is still pending approval. Scholastic says the deal will help it to expand leverage of its brands across screens, print, and merchandising. And kids out there, if you're listening, I don't think your favorites are going away any or going anywhere. So don't worry. I think it's going to be just fine. Oh, that was good to know. <laughs> Arthur was always one of our family's favorites. <laughs> Me too. Okay, now Ari, yesterday we talked about the criminal probe being launched into Boeing and that growing list of investigations is really hurting one airline. It looks like the more Boeing ha has investigations happening, the more that airlines are going to be affected. And at the end of that all, really you and me, Cynthia, and other passengers, there's going to be fewer options at the end of all of this. So the latest airline, Southwest Airlines, says it will be reducing capacity this year amid expected delays from Boeing, specifically for 737 jets, because those jets are still grounded and those that have not been delivered are being held back, pending approval from the Federal Aviation Administration to put them back into the air. Of course, Boeing is under many, many investigations related to safety concerns, not, not the least the infamous story of a Alaska Airlines from earlier this year when a fuselage panel blew off mid-air. Today in reaction on markets, Southwest Airlines stock dropped by 14.5%, Boeing by more than 4%, and also Boeing down nearly 30% so far this year, Cynthia. Well, that's certainly going to hurt the bottom lines. Okay, now 2023, Ari, was the year we all went back to the movies. I know I sure did. And that sparked some big interest in the Oscars over the weekend. For sure, and it looks like it actually had the numbers to prove it now, Cynthia. So last weekend's Oscars, it looks like it drew 19.5 million viewers, and that's the most since 2020. Although it's good news for the ratings draw, the show actually missed out on the key demographic of 18 to 49 year olds. That sector dropped 5% compared to last year. Now, viewership of the Academy Awards overall has been declining since 2014. That's the year when Ellen DeGeneres did that famous celebrity selfie. That was also the biggest year since 2000. And if we're keeping score at home, the best Academy Awards on record, at least to date, was back in 1998. That's when 55 million viewers watching James Cameron's Titanic when it won just about everything, Cynthia. Wow, 1998. All right, they certainly have dropped viewings. But, you know, everybody's still talking about uh, Ryan and his I, I'm Just Ken song from the Oscars. If we could just keep up with those kind of performances, I bet those viewership numbers will get right up to those 98 levels. All right, Ari, always good to see you. You as well.